Hi, and welcome back to the restaurant show. We are here at the Chocolaterian Cafe, having ourselves a nice time with Leanne and Alex, the owners here. Thanks for having us today. Thanks, good to see you again. Yeah, you as well. I'm happy to have you here. So, lots of good treats here, as you know, you might know already. There's a few folks here enjoying some things right now, and we're about to talk a little bit about some shareable desserts because Valentine's Day is just around the corner. That's right. I hear this is a great date spot. Yeah, I would say um, we have people here on dates often. Yes. And so, therefore, there's no reason not to do it for for Valentine's Day too. Yeah. Um, we have wine and beer, but wine of course is much better for Valentine's Day. Yeah, you bet. And uh, lots of shareable desserts, which Leanne's gonna share with you today, one of our favorites. Okay. But it's, yeah, it's a great place to stop and have a sweet with your sweetie. You bet, it's a great atmosphere and just a, a nice space to sit and enjoy some wonderful sweets and other things. So, okay, what's the one we're doing today? Okay, today we're gonna make a caramel cashew tart, one of our signature items. Okay. Everything is made from scratch here, by hand, using old world techniques, including uh, tart, press, tart shell presses yep. that we had made specifically for us. Okay. And so... You couldn't what I, have them give you a, a specific name that wasn't a tongue twister? Right, <laughs> yeah. Come it's on. the thingy. Tart yeah, the, the shell thingy. press. Yes. Oh, I'm glad you guys are saying that one. Okay. So, what we have is a traditional uh, pat sucre or okay. tart to dough. All I'm doing is softening it, flattening it, and flattening it in my hand a little bit. I love that we're showing this because I've always wondered how does this happen? Right. This is it. Oops, yeah. Sorry. Uh, yep. And a little bit of elbow grease. Okay. And we now have a tart shell. Wow. Okay. Oh, that's great. And we would clean up the edges a bit and make right. sure that it's perfectly symmetrical. Yep. And we would bake this off. And through the magic of TV, we've got some to work with right yeah. now. <laughs> I love it. I, I like the magical ovens on the cooking shows yes, where right. something right. goes in and two seconds later it's it completely done. Wouldn't that be nice if that was life? <laughs> yes, that exactly. That way? So into our tart shell, okay. we're going to put some house-made sea salt caramel. Oh. And this yes, is nice yeah. and soft and gooey. We're just going to pipe it in. Okay. I'd like to tell you that the sea salt caramel, when she says it's house made, she's really not kidding. Wow. We have huge hopper kettles in both of our candy kitchens, and they're and, and everything's cooked in there with a big wooden paddle. Oh it is God. traditional, old school caramel making. That's so and great. I I truly believe it's the difference in the taste. Yeah. Um, so many the, things in this time and day and age are going to, you know, fast and mass production. Right. Mm -hmm. So it's so nice to have a, a local place that's mm -hmm. really, you know, keeping some of those true traditions. Exactly. What'd you put in there now? So now that we've got our sea salt caramel in there, we've added a layer of coffee buttercream. Coffee and chocolate and caramel are the three elements of this dessert. Okay. And our coffee buttercream is house made, which is um, a lovely, we take egg whites and uh, heat them up with um, sugar, uh -huh. take it to a certain temperature so it gets a, a nice stiffness to it, okay. and then add pounds of butter and coffee extract. And it's absolutely delicious <laughs> and super spreadable and yummy. Oh so all gosh. we're going to do here is put a nice even layer of coffee buttercream over our caramel. But we're going to leave a little room because this is chocolatarian and we need to add... We're missing something. Chocolate. chocolate. <laughs> and you miss it all together now. What I goes on it. top? Yes. Right. And because this is a patisserie, neatness counts. And so this is just a little uh, motion to make sure that we have a nice even layer. Beautiful. Okay. Beautiful and delicious. Okay. okay. And now we're ready for some ready ganache. For, oh, okay. Well, what we have in here is a chocolate ganache, which I've got warmed in the microwave so it's nice and um, flowing. Okay. And so we're just going to pour that right in the middle. Even in a traditional kitchen, we occasionally use a microwave. <laughs> there are times where yep. it's needed. You may have heard Alex earlier saying in both of our candy kitchens, too, I wanted to make sure and mention there's two spots. We're here on Atwood Ave today, but you've also got a spot in Middleton. That's right. So. And our kitchen's not just a candy kitchen. We also have savory food. So when you come for your sweets with your sweetie, you can also have dinner or lunch. Yeah, so. I'm glad you mentioned that because there's, it's a great menu here and just a great spot to come eat. Okay. But then you know you've got a, a one of a kind winter dessert waiting yeah. for you. Yeah, okay. And now we've got our, our ganache on here, which is an emulsion of dark chocolate and heavy cream. We right. use exclusively okay. sassy cow heavy cream because that's local. 
chocolate will never be local, but the dairy is and the butter is, and so that's what uh, that's kind of our claim to local food fame. The, I think the dairy. that's great when a when a local business kind of goes that extra step supporting other local businesses. I love that combination. Absolutely. Absolutely. Madison is particularly good at that too. We have a lot of great agriculture here, mm -hmm. so it's not hard to get right. beautiful dairy, especially. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. So. And so what I've done is just tap this a little bit, and okay. because the ganache is still uh, got a little bit of flow to it, okay. uh, it just evens it out. So you're going to have that nice even layer, which is one of the hallmarks of nicely made patisserie, and hopefully one of the hallmarks of our caramel cashew tarts. And there's we're going to finish decorating it with some cashews, which we're just going to put around the tart. It's the finishing touch. And that's right. Pick pretty whole cashews right, yeah. for this. Right. Not all are created equal. You do need That's to right. Like this. <laughs> right. A discerning eye. Yeah. Right. This is incredible. When I saw these coming in, I I couldn't imagine that these were made by hand. They look so perfect. It's Aww. really incredible how you've done that. And of course they're delicious, which is the yep. most important part. But they're yes. also beautiful. Wow, what a fun dessert. I love that. So this is a good idea for shareable desserts. Absolutely. Another, I think, fan favorite is the chocolate fondue. Oh my gosh. Great one for Absolutely. dates mm -hmm. or, you know, coming with it's, it. It's a particularly good date night dessert. You bet. Uh, lots of very silky, beautiful, hot, warm chocolate mm -hmm. and lots of fun things to dip in it with the fondue forks and house yeah, pound cake. makes it fun. Yep. Interactive a little yeah, bit. Yeah, a little interactive dessert. Yeah, exactly. Something yeah, different. Uh, but of course, Valentine's Day is around the corner, so if you want your gift baskets, chocolate hearts, you can go online, stop in any one of the two locations, but also do it soon because you got to get in front of it, right? Exactly. Sooner right. rather than later. We will start running out of time to make things, yeah. so <laughs> please get your orders in early. Thank you. A special request. Hold right? <laughs> <laughs> Alex and Leanne for having us again. We appreciate it very much. Thanks. So great to see you. Thank you for Thanks. watching. We've got more restaurant show after the break.